Hi everyone, it's um, Sunday evening. I um, actually I feel like I, I didn't think I did, but I did. I can feel in my body that I did a lot today. <laughs> did a lot of cleaning up, like just cleaning, which needed very bad to be done. Um, and laundry and everything, because I worked all day yesterday. Um, but I also started and finished Crown of Feathers by Nikki Pau I woke up this morning about to bo read Book of Fire, um, which is a physical copy that I have. But because I was just doing so much cleaning and everything uh, uh, off and on for the whole day, I needed to do something. I needed to use a book that I had an audio that I could switch back and forth between you know, when folding laundry and then sitting down for 25 minutes and then getting up to make meals for the week and all that fun stuff. So I went with Crown of Feathers and actually really enjoyed it. Like, really impressed for a debut book. Um, yeah, so that's what I did. And, oh, I definitely didn't do the dishes today. Um, but whatever, that's life. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to try and start Book of Fire tomorrow after work, um, meaning I need to listen to something in the morning. So maybe I'll start. Oh, I do have an audiobook actually for The Queen of the Tearlings, so maybe I'll start doing that. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. That'll be the, the game plan for tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Um, and yeah, that's been my weekend. Hi, everyone. So it's actually Tuesday. Um... I didn't vlog yesterday. I just had kind of like a mental meltdown. So it just, yeah, there was not, no point in that. But I worked and I got about halfway, no, a little bit more than halfway through The Queen of the Tearling yesterday. And then I finished that tonight. I was going to pick up the Book of Fire, but I was just really into Queen of the Tearling. Um, so I just kept going with that yesterday and then I had a meltdown. Um, and then I finally went to sleep. Um, and then today... Um, kept working on Queen of the Tearling once again, was just really vibing with it. I think the past two times I've read it, I've kind of just, like, I feel like my interest sort of waned part of the way through it, but I really liked it this time. Um, and then we had, um, Mimi Yu, who wrote The Girl King in the TBR and Beyond group today to do a virtual visit. So that's what I did, um, tonight. And then had another little men mini mental breakdown. It's been fun. Um, so... All I have left are the two, um, like, arc things that I have. So I have Book of Fire, which I am going to start tomorrow after work. Um, and then, I mean, I have my March TBR pulled, so maybe I'll pick one of those that has an audio to start listening to tomorrow morning. Actually, because it's so long, why don't I do an Echo in the Bone? Yeah, we'll start an Echo in the Bone tomorrow. That'll be the plan. Um, yeah, so here's shooting for a Wednesday without a mental breakdown, so that'd be really cool, but either way, I will see you all later. I hope if you pre-ordered any of the, like, billion of books that came out today, Prior of the Orange Tree, Four Dead Queens, Warrior of the Wild, uh, Last of Her Name, Rain and Delilah's Midnight Matinee or something like that, um, An Affair of Poisons came out today, too. Um, we Set the Dark on Fire came out today, too. Um, the Last Eight, I think, came out today as well. Quite a few books came out today. So I'm still waiting for my pre-orders of Warrior of the Wild and... Um, what's the other one? Warrior of the Wild and Four Dead Queens to show up. They shipped a couple days ago. Uh, or late, late last week. So whenever they show up, they show up. Um, and yeah. This is a really bad week for me to have like little mini mental breakdowns because I worked both Saturday and Sunday this week. At least Pat last week I had Monday off. But like it's going to be fun. So I get to like have mental breakdowns and feel horrible about myself. And then go deal with customer service people and make them sandwiches and have them talk down to me. So it should be fun. It should be lots and lots of fun this weekend. But uh, yeah, that's been my day. I've already said that. Either way, see you all later. Hi everyone, it's um, Wednesday, yeah, um, Wednesday, I um, started this morning, like I said, An Echo in the Bone by Diana Gaplan. I got to chapter three, so it's only like, I think it's only like 20 pages in, sorry, 31 pages in, but I started a little bit. Um, I had um, some pre-orders come in, um, the sweetest kind of, or sorry, the fairest kind of love came in, this is the third final, final, I think, in the Windy City trilogy. Just like a fun light YA one. This doesn't come out for another week or two weeks, I want to say. But I pre-ordered it and it came in. So I can put my uh, book plate that she sent out on it finally. And they're just very pretty on my bookshelf. Um, 
yeah, I'm just very happy that that series exists. It's just fun. Um, my pre-order for Four Dead Queens came in too. Oh, I forgot to see what the fairest. Woo! Okay. So the fairest kind of love. They always do really nice spines on these this series. Um, so that one's there. And then Four Dead Queens. Oh, I like that the crowns are shiny. The rest of it is matte. Um, woo! Oh my gosh, I don't things work. Um, oh, it's a rose. Oh, I like that. So, if I can get this off. Okay, so it's just plain black, but the spine is like a rose gold. I'm hoping that shows up properly in the light. It's like a rose gold. Very pretty. And someone told me where of the wild, my other one that came in, it is much smaller than I thought it was going to be as a standalone. Um, mind you, she managed to pack a large punch with small books with Daughter of the Pirate King and Siren Queen. So that's okay. Um, I like that it's lifted too, like the... Um, like the grass rose vines on here are lifted, which is cool. Um, and, oh yeah, so there's like a Celtic design on like the actual hardcover. I hope you get to that. And, oh, the spine is green. That's interesting. I'm curious. I'm very, very curious about this one. And this one I'm going to read in March. Um, other than that, I was gonna, I, I feel like I just keep delaying it and it's really frustrating my brain, but like, I was going to read Book of Fire, but I'm just, like, I'm still mentally, like, I'm just done this week already mentally. It's been one of those weeks. Um, and then Brooklyn Nine-Nine, though, yay, got renewed by NBC for a seventh season. So I just, I need to spend my evening, you know, eating Indian food, butter chicken, that are, and samosas that are bad for me, and watching five in or people in a lineup singing I want it that way by the Backstreet Boys like that's just how I need to spend my day so I'm not going to be reading this evening I'm going to um just watch some Brooklyn Nine-Nine that's what I'm doing with myself and I'm okay with that and apparently my dog finds the most inconvenient times anyways that's been my Wednesday that's all I'm gonna do today um and I will see you all later hi people it is Thursday. Um, I got my uh, library copy of Les Mis for uh, Victor Hugo. Um, finally showed up. It's the translation by Christine Donahue, I think. Um, it's a Penguin classic. It's really pretty, actually. Like, I'm really digging this. So, if I like it, then like, maybe I should buy the Penguin. I don't. I need to be stopped. Okay. Um, so that would go on my TBR shelf, actually, not over there. Um, I also was about to start Book of Fire this night and I it's unbound like I got a pdf of it um so I printed it off and for some reason I didn't think to put it in a binder or do a tang or anything so I accidentally dropped it which I was like okay that's fine pick it up and I picked it up and found out there were no page numbers so I don't have the patience tonight to sort through the 200 plus pages and find what order they need to go in that's that's a that's a that's a problem for a different day for me. Um, so instead I picked up the unbound paper arc I have of Descendant of the Crane. And I got 60 pages in so far. So up to chapter 6. And I'm enjoying it so far. So I'm going to keep working on that. Um, I read up to page 51 of An Echo in the... Um, echo in the bone today um, i'm going to read a little bit more of that i have to make dinner and everything now so i will listen to the audiobook of that and that has been my day that thing came in the mail today which i am a-okay with because i had all my books come yesterday and i had like yesterday that is exactly what i needed was to watch book of nine i feel a lot better than i did yesterday so that has been my day and i will talk to you all later hi everyone it's friday um it's pretty quick check-in nothing came in the mail um, but I started working on The Shit Beyond Time by Heidi Yelig, um, and hopefully I can finish this today. I'm about a third-ish of the way in so far, um, so hopefully I can finish this and then maybe read, like, a hundred pages of Desc Descent of the Crane, Descendant of the Crane. That'd be good. I'd be happy with that. So, that is the game plan, and then hopefully I can get to bed early, because I work tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. Fun. Um, so, yeah, that's been my week, and, um, yeah, we'll see you all later.